let's go ahead and claim our seventh and final anniversary gift. Ten mirror Picard shards. Awesome. That'll give us the winner. That'll give us that. There's our anniversary claim token. And now we have what? An event store? Anniversary officers. Bam, right there. A little event store that just popped open. And here's your choice. Now, of course, we say immediately exclude everyone who is available through transporter patterns. Cisco was just added. Barclay's in there. Hammer's in there. I think Pike's in there. This is the wrong La'an picture. That's Strange New World's La'an, but it's actually Strike Team La'an. Um, strike Team officers, A, not as good as they once were. B, also available through the Incursion store and... <clears throat> they might be in the uh, Section 31 store, too, if I'm not mistaken. Just double-check that real fast, because I don't want to give out wrong advice, but I think they're all in here. Uh, yeah, the, the original strike teams are all in here along with Carol Freeman, so, you know, run some waves if you want shards for that particular officer. Um, probably not best to spend your one year free gift on something you can get otherwise. Um. <clears throat> so, looking at these from a rarity standpoint, Jayla is the has the worst sourcing of any officer, or of, I wouldn't say of any officer in the game, but of any officer in this pick, Jayla has the worst sourcing. But that's also because Jayla has no use anymore. Jayla was already such a niche officer with killing swarms and things like that. Um, and that went away in January of 2023 when freebooters were added to the game. So nearly two years ago, the whole freebooter mechanic completely made Jayla obsolete. So unless you are a collector who just wants to have every officer to unlock, there's no reason to get Jayla either. So I think the more popular officers here, 5 of 11 is going to be a top pick. Janeway is going to be a top pick. Enterprise E. Picard, probably your third most popular choice. Um, you know, Cisco was Cisco would have been a good one, but they just added him to transporter patterns. Odo, Dax, Borg, Queen, like, they're okay. They have some sourcing through various reason, means of the game. Same thing with 7 of 9 as well. So what you really just have to look at yourself is maybe what officer is going to give you that immediate impact. Who's going to give you an immediate impact? If you're thinking between like three or four officers, you know, which one gets you closer? Hey, 100 shards of Picard gets him to 188. Like that's not far away from a tier up. And since it's his secondary ability that's going to be tearing up, now I'm getting more isolytic cascade damage. That's going to make... You know, killing regular targets easier. It's going to especially make when you're hunting, like, Gorn easier, because they only take isolytic damage. He might be a one. And then if I want to go to the Alliance Tournament store and pick up the other 12 shards I would need to tear him up, like, that's an option for me. Um, you know, the NX-01 crew does have some sourcing now that you're getting daily claims through some of these different refinery options. So is getting Archer or somebody out of here, or a Flocks out of here. Worth it? Maybe. They gave Dax away for free earlier. Dax was in the, one of the multi-phasic uh, milestones, rewards. So if you spent money that month buying other things, you would have acquired shards for Dax through that multi-phasic conversion. I think Flocks is the one going on right now, actually, for that same thing. You know, earn, you, you know, buy packs, get multi-phasics, get additional free officer shards. And I think Flox is the one they're currently giving away for that. You know, 100 shards for here is a tier up. Um, this is going to make my cutting beam charge a little faster below deck. This is going to help lower critical hit chance of my opponent. Good for PvP fighting. Good for hunting the new uh, Q hostiles as well. 
those interceptors if you lower their rate there. But, you know, like I said, 5 of 11, probably a, lot, a, a top pick for a lot of people. For me, I'm close enough as it is. I only need 75 shards to max her out. So I'm going to pass on that. Janeway might be a more one, a more likely one to upgrade here. Again, boosting her Isolytic Cascade. So, I think that's kind of where I'm stuck between. You know, Janeway, Picard, for me, make the most sense. For others, based on where your account is at, some of these other officers will make a lot different have a lot different of an impact if you're a lower level player like uh mashed potatoes over there who's just hit level you know 20 an officer like 5 of 11 someone who can take a while to unlock getting a nice little 20 percent uh boost to your resource game plus getting some mitigation on that ship uh you know could be pretty useful at a low level really help sourcing some of that stuff as you progress into your mid-20s and now you're starting to kill stuff with your Borg probe, uh, your Vidar. Going to help you level that up faster, getting some more of those probes off of it. When you get to 27 and you're starting to work on the Stella and trying to unlock that ship and you have to go kill all those stupid transports to get the materials. Could be a good officer to help with that. Janeway, again, also a good officer with her captain's ability, dumping more damage into the shields. This is especially useful for players in their 30s who have an Enterprise because there's a wonderful little combo you can do where with that 34 Epic, that Enterprise, Janeway's putting more of the damage into the shields. The Enterprise mechanic is restoring those shields at the end of each round, so therefore you just take less hull damage over the course of the fight. So yeah, hmm. I feel like I'm going to take Picard here, but you do have seven days on your countdown timer, so I think I'm going to sit and wait. We're going to see what else we get from other events and stuff for the next few days. Maybe there's something that's giving out, you know, more shards. That might make it a little more appealing. Uh, let's also look here. This is done. This is over. There are no additional events that were just added in here. Um, threat reduction is today, so we'll kill Borg probes. We also just got a mirror uh, upgrade event. Okay, so what's given out here? This is giving out Syndicate XP. Spend some of that mirror dust. More heroics, more heroics. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything else that's currently giving out extra officer shards or anything. But that could also be a tipping point, so. Okay. I feel like, I feel like there's some good options out there, and Les got Hammer. Boss went with Enterprise Picard because you were able to tear him up. Exactly. It's going to have an impact for you right away. Sugar took 5 of 11. Lightning Hawk took Enterprise E Picard. Yep. Iron Fister says that 5 of 11 is already maxed. Leaning towards E Picard. I feel like he's, yeah, he's probably going to come in near the top of it. Belair took Picard and got him up to Tier 3. Yep, exactly. There's some good stuff in there. Moose is taking Janeway because it's going to tear her up. And that's the thing, too, right? Like, if you just tiered Janeway up, and you're like, oh, I can get 100 Janeway shards, but I'm going to need 300 more to, to tear her up. Like, that, while she might be the best officer, and it might help you more down the road... That still might not be the best pick for you right now, because if there's something you're struggling with and you're like, well, I could get, you know, I don't really do so well killing Gorn, and if I get Picard, you know, maybe that'll help me with the Gorn, because then I can do Picard and Data and Janeway, and I can get more loot that way. Like, that might seem like a, a better trade-off. So, it is going to be subjective. Obviously, I did give my opinion on a few of the different uh, options out there, you know. Uh, but again, if you have access to transporter patterns... Option number one would be don't pick anybody who's already available here. 
don't take Barkley, don't take Pike. Don't take Cisco. Don't take Hammer. I think that's it. Just the five of them. They did a pretty good job this time of not overlapping. Like last year, they gave us like 40 officers. But 30 of them were in transporter patterns. And it was like, well, nobody's probably picking them for that exact reason. Because they're already available in transporter patterns. So it seems like this time around, they just left all those out. Which is good. I appreciate that. So, 